In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, basically animate uh, an image so that you can pan or zoom across it to um, like see everything that's in the image. So uh, what I'm going to do is first I'm going to take a picture. I'm going to drag it into my sequence. And so here is my image. It's a little bit too small for my sequence, but that's okay because I'm going to start zooming up anyway. And I'm going to click on the image and make sure that my effect controls panel is activated. And if it's closed, you're going to click on this little arrow next to motion uh, so that you can see all the controls. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on the word motion so that I get these hand little like handlebars and bounding box around the video. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and set where my image is going to start. Like, am I going to start zoomed in? I'm going to start on the left or right, top, bottom, whatever it might be. I'm actually going to go ahead and enlarge my image. And I'm going to start on the left side over here with these three people. And then I'm going to pan across. So this is where my image is going to start. And now I need to tell Premiere where to start moving. So I'm going to take my current time indicator down here. And notice that when I move it down here in the sequence, it also moves up here in this um, little timeline next to the F effect controls. It's because these are exactly the same. It's just showing me the um, different effects that'll be applied. So I'm gonna take the current time indicator and I'm gonna move it right all the way back to the beginning because I wanna start my animation at the beginning of the clip. So now, now that I've had it, my, my start time set, I'm going to go to these like little stopwatches over here on the left-hand side. And they're empty, which means that there is no animation applied. Um, and I'm only going to be animating the position. So I'm going to click on the stopwatch next to position. So now I have animation turned on for position. And notice that it gives me this like little diamond here and these little diamond and arrows. Um, this is basically I can add and remove keyframes and I can also use the arrows to jump back and forth between keyframes once I have multiple keyframes. So I have my starting position and time set and now I'm going to go to the end of my clip and one, uh, one little tip is that for some reason when you go to the end of a clip it actually shows you like the frame right past the clip which is just black so I can't see like what's going on with my my clip. So I'm actually going to use my left arrow on my keyboard to jump back one frame. So now I can see what's going on with my, my video clip. And I want this to be the ending of my animation. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this little diamond right here, add remove keyframe. And it adds in a new little diamond a uh, keyframe. So this is the beginning of my animation and the ending of my animation. And I want, I already have my beginning set. So I'm going to go to the end, and now I need to set where my animation is going to end. So I'm going to click on motion again, and I'm going to drag across to where I want my animation to end. And right about there is just fine. And so now, when I move my CTI back to the beginning and I hit play, you'll see it pan across my image. And so now I have an animation set. And you can add multiple keyframes if you want to like switch direction halfway through. Um, you can move keyframes. So maybe I want to switch directions there and there. And at each one of these keyframes, you'll have to set like a new position if you wanted to like go somewhere else. Um, and you can also remove keyframes by jumping to each keyframe and then click on the little diamond it makes it disappear so this is basic animation if you need any help with this let me know you can do a lot of fun and interesting stuff with it but it can also get really really messy and uh kind of out of control so uh let me know if you need any help